The test isn't whether you get the greatest business idea in the world the first time out. The test is whether you keep learning as you go along what your strengths are and what you can do for your customers, what you can bring especially to the party. And to do that, you need the education that I know you've received through 10,000 small businesses, but you need a genuine desire day in, day out to delight the customer. I've never, I've never seen a business and I've seen a lot of businesses, but I've never seen one that delights the customer that doesn't succeed. I mean, what you want is that customer the next day when they think, do I want to rent a car or do I want to buy some furniture? What goes through their mind? You know, it's the place where they've had a great experience. I don't know what I paid for this type. Actually, probably if somebody gave it to me, but for the purposes of the speech, I will <laughs> say, I, I have no idea, but what I, or the shirt I'm wearing, or this, but I do know, I will remember how I was treated when I bought it. I mean, you, you long forget about the price, but you never forget whether you had a good experience or a poor experience with the purchase experience. And you'll have a hard time finding a person that's had a wonderful experience, a delighted experience in purchasing anything that isn't going to come back. And similarly, if the memory is of rudeness, indifference, you know, whatever it may be, they're never going to come back. And as a small business owner and as you grow, you have to not only be able to project that interest in people's well-being in delighting them yourself, but you have to do it through other people. And you won't be able to do it through people who themselves do not feel they're being fairly treated, that their views aren't, aren't appropriately considered. So you really do have to learn to multiply yourself through other people. And I advise